So this week's question comes from Yidong, and Yidong asks, Professor Walters, how do you stay connected with your students after graduation? Well, one of the things I always make sure I do is I share all of my social media contacts. So whether it's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, whatever, I'm like, hey, look, you can, we can become friends on there. LinkedIn, follow us on LinkedIn. Let's become connected on LinkedIn. I make sure we have some kind of connection via social media or internet or whatever. Also, I share them my email and I tell them, look, if you have questions, if you want to talk, if you're just coming back for a game, send me an email. If I'm around, I'll be glad to meet up, okay? And so I leave that door open in case students do come back and we want to meet again, okay? Because I really enjoy seeing how my students have progressed over the years. I know two of my favorite students I had years ago, Chris and Hannah, I still remember. They, they, they kind of talked in the first class they had with me. They kind of talked to each other. Then the second class they had with me, you know, that they started dating. By the third class they had with me, they were sitting next to each other in each class holding hands during lectures. And now they're on kid number two. They actually invited me, yes, they invited me to their wedding. And with, that's why the wedding bells are ringing. Sadly, I couldn't go, but that was one of those things is you get to become close with your students, so you want to stay connected with them. Another way I try to stay connected with my former students is I tell them, look, if you're going to come and recruit at the U of I, please let me know. If you have questions, you want to know about students that are coming through, contact me on LinkedIn. I will gladly share some contact information so you might be able to find new students to work with. So I make sure I try to keep as many kind of means of communication open with my former students so if they do want to meet up, we can meet up. And that's why sometimes it's just having a beer at a football game at a tailgate before the game just to say hi or sometimes when I'm traveling around the world I'll meet up with my former students in Paris in London where else I met them in Brazil you know you find them in different places and you go and meet them and that's really a nice thing to do and so that's one of the big things is I, I, I've become such good friends with some of my students over the years, getting invited to their weddings. I know Jess, Jessica, she's getting married this year, you know, and, and she's one of my favorite students I've ever had. We actually call her, you know, my, my daughter because we were so tight and she, take a, she took a couple classes with me. She went on a study abroad trip with me, you know, and, and, and my family and we became really good friends. And that's one thing you have to realize is your professors, they're adults and my, our students are adults. We can be friends. And that's why I think for me, sometimes it's easier to stay connected with some of my students when we get to know them. That's why it's important. If you want to stay connected with your professors, don't just, you know, write them an email sending you a reference letter. Go and see them at their office hours. Go and talk to them after class because once we get to know you more and more, professors see our students as our friends, not just as you are a little student. Da -da. No, they see us as, as other, other people in this world, other people that can be friends in this world. And you'll be surprised how many professors, some of their best friends are some of their former students. Okay. So I hope this helps you understand like how does, like how professors stay connected with their students after graduation. It does take effort on both parts to say hi and make sure you're keeping up and it's more than just happy birthday when it comes up on Facebook, all right? So Yidong, I hope this helps you know what you could do to stay connected with your professors. Bye from here in York.